And I don't know what to say, but it is happening. And I don't know what to say, but it is happening. And I don't know what to make, cause it is not only my thing. And I know you're probably thinking that I need some reassurance. It's okay that you're not okay. Hey guys, my name's Josh, and today I'm going to show you how I get lush sounding backing vocals that are there to just support the lead vocal and not get in the way of it. I'll play you the backing vocals now. This is with no processing other than just tuning. No reverb, no compression, no EQ, none of that. This is just how it was recorded. And I don't know what to say, but it is happening. And I don't know what to make as it is not normally my thing And I know you're probably thinking that I need some reassurance and now you might be wondering why there's a few little noises and sounds cut out of the vocals. That's literally just because I didn't need the definition of like the T's, the D's, the C's. So anything that's like those sounds, you don't really miss them because they are provided straight down the center by one vocal that has them. Just cut them and make sure you do a little fade so there's no clicks and pops. But for this song, this I found that this really worked. I've applied the same processing to all of these individually as well as some processing on the bus that they're all running through. So firstly, just a little bit of compression, doing about 3 dB of gain reduction on each individual backing vocal. And I don't know what to say but it is happening And I don't know what to make as it is not normally my thing And I know you're probably thinking that I need some reassurance so what that's doing is just helping clamp it down and keep it really controlled. With these backing vocals, I want them to be a consistent layer of just like sound rather than actual definition or spoken words. Next is a DSer. Now they, they don't have many S's at all, but the way I like to do it is DS beforehand, boost a lot of top end and air, and then DS afterwards. And depending on the amount of S's and the sound, I will choose to DS certain amounts. For here, I've just got this on 50% and it's probably doing like between one and three dB. And I don't know what to say, but it is happening. And I don't know what to make as it is not normally my thing And I know you're probably thinking that I need some reassurance Yeah, so just helping snip off some of those S's and making it sound even more consistent And then I've got quite a big top end boost as well as a little bit more compression So 6 dB at 15k I'll start without and then flick it in halfway through And I don't know what to say but it is happening and I don't know what to make as it is not normally my thing And I know you're probably thinking that I need some reassurance Yeah, so obviously it got a little bit louder, um, which I don't mind I, I wanted to boost the level up to, into the mix So that's not really a problem for me Hello sir, we've just received a few complaints But as you can see it's getting a lot crisper sounding, a lot clearer sounding But a little bit brittle, so I've just put another DS on each individual track Just to snip off some of that brittleness And I don't know what to say but it is happening And I don't know what to make as it is not normally my thing And I know you're probably thinking that I need some reassurance yeah, so just controlling that top end back down, but also keeping a consistent layer of air. And now on the bus, I'm boosting quite a bit more air at 40k with this mag EQ. I, I really like this sound. 5 dB of more air. So this is going to get even brighter again because I just want it really sparse and open and airy. And I don't know what to say, but it is happening. And I don't know what to make as it is not normally my thing And I know you're probably thinking that I need some reassurance So even crisper and then I've got this Brainworks channel strip I think I'm just doing a little bit of filtering at 95 hertz and a 1 dB boost at 1K just to add a bit more body to the vocal because adding all this air can help make it sound brighter and crisper and more floaty sounding but you can start to lose a bit of the body and that's what this boost is just bringing back. Um, it will get louder as well because I use this fader to mix. Um, it's going to be 5 dB louder, so... What? And I don't know what to say, but it is happening. 
And I don't know what to make as it is not normally my thing And I know you're probably thinking that I need some reassurance And now finally just another DSA and then soothe and this is just help really tightening it down so it's just one consistent layer not getting in the way the lead vocal at all um, and just helping support it underneath it and i don't know what to say but it is happening and i don't know what to make as it is not normally my thing and i know you're probably thinking that i need some reassurance Okay, so that's all the processing out of the way, other than reverb, which can help make it sound smoother. So this is with the reverb. And I don't know what to say, but it is happening. And I don't know what to make, as it is not normally my thing. And I know you're probably thinking that I need some reassurance. So if you haven't checked out this reverb by Valhalla, it was free when I got it, so I'd imagine it's still free now. I don't see why it wouldn't be, but it might have just been a limited offer. I'm not too sure, but it's really good regardless. And that's just help adding a bit more space around the vocals, making it sound a little bit deeper and a little bit cooler. Let me know if you have any other tips uh, to achieve this kind of sound. I'd love to hear it in the comments below, but this is just how I would usually go about it. Um, there's no go to because I just use my ears and just apply plugins or processing when I need it. Like if I want something brighter, I'll make it brighter. If I want to tame something down, I'll compress it or DS it and that kind of thing. So always use your ears and then decide what to do. If you learned something new, let me know in the comments below or if you have any other tips that you'd like to share about backing vocals or vocal mixing, then I'd love to hear it because I'm all about trying the things that you guys recommend. But if you did enjoy the video, be sure to subscribe because I will be posting more mixing, mastering and recording tutorials and content, um, as well as like the video because it helps my video be seen by more people. So that's it for me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.